Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam, and today we're back playing RoboQuest. So, if you guys um, can see, I'm using a different character this time. Here's the damage from okay. I'm using a different character this time. I'm actually going to be using Guardian this time around. And that's because I'm going to be trying out a, uh, a melee build. Now, I don't know if Guardian is the best class for this, but taking a look at some of the other classes I have, like a like Commando or Ranger, I just felt like Guardian has the most, like, abilities that, like, kind of focus around melee. So, like, like he literally has a melee uh, ability, and then his um, he also has a, an invulnerable bubble. Um, so I just figured Guardian could be good for like a melee, melee, um, uh, melee build, but we'll have to kind of see how, how things go. Let's grab the shovel. Um, uh, man, I guess let's grab the tomahawk. Not, not a really a melee, but I mean, kind of is, I guess. I mean, it's a throwing axe, really, but close enough. Uh, shock damage, nah. Ooh, power fist. Oh, I missed. Ooh, ooh, shovel, shovel time. And no, go, go, go. I'm going the wrong way. I'm here. No. 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 Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, your next attack shot fires one homing projectile. Interesting. Uh, does that, um, does that work with this? Oh, it does. Okay. That is fascinating. Fires a homing projectile, okay. I have like a mix of... I don't have summons, gosh dang it. But yeah, this feels like a mix of... Um, basically like a mix of range and, uh, and melee. Uh, yeah, let's risk it. I uh, didn't get it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, oasis, ruins. Um, what did I go through last time? I think I went through ruins. So let's go oasis. This time. Okay, yeah. This is cool though. I like this. I do like this. I should be using my ability thing more often though, um, like this thing, but that's fine. Especially I think like going into combat, I should be using it more. Um, just for kind of helping out with um, these early, because there's so many enemies right at the start, obviously as you start slowly taking them out, then you have less to worry about, but I think uh, for dealing with kind of like the beginning, I think going in with the shield would be a good idea. So I should probably start doing that. Oh, 
Okay. Fade and Bastion reduces Tiny Punch cooldown. Uh, what a reroll. Let's go with that. I know it's not, you know, really strictly melee because of the, just for the fact that we have this little projectile that shoots out as well, but I am going to be mainly focusing on melee, so. Uh, I mean, sure, I guess if we ever get anything that's shock related. What do I need for that? Yeah, I should look around for spots to dig up with the shovel. There's probably been like some spots around and I just kind of have missed them, but whatever. This is fun, though. Gotta say, I am enjoying the... I'm enjoying a bit of a melee build. I mean, it's just cool to use. Mainly, mainly because of these power fists. They are awesome. I did. Okay. Nice. This is awesome. Okay, that was just rude. Okay, I'm taking a bit of damage. Oh jeez. Yep, that hack thing, that hack thing is very annoying. I can even shoot them from a distance as well. Nice. Uh, yeah, this area right here. I don't have any swimming trunks. I'm sorry, dude. I've already been here before. I don't think there's any more secrets in this area. Unless there's like a secret, a secret spot to like dig up, which I guess there could be. I don't see anything. Okay. Time to get launched back. Uh, it's... That 
definitely would like some upgrades to my, uh, my, uh, Q ability, my big boy ability. Him out. This is, I mean, this is pretty good for healing. And it does surprisingly good damage. This is awesome. Oh, I can't use my ability in here. That's actually what I was trying to see if I could use, but sadly I can. This is Bastion's cooldown. Bonk Gamer. Um, <clears throat> we'll go with that. Uh, okay. This is their duration. And let's get the power cell. I just jumped right into a wall. The wrong way. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. I'm stuck on the freaking thing. Okay. I missed. Okay, that's fine. You really can just like run in and just punch things like crazy. Like there's really... Like it... Jeez, this feels crazy to do. I'm going the wrong way. Got a little disorientated there. Wait, where do I? Huh? Oh. I really got disorientated. Jeez. Yeah, the fact that I'm still full health after that. Uh, use all damage, yeah. I'm gonna upgrade these these bad boys. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's upgrade their quality. Why not? Oh, but it got rid of the. Dang! It got rid of the cryo. I mean, it's the shock. Still at least, but... Eh, it's fine. Oh, I had to do that in less than six minutes. Okay. Three minutes too, sh too short. Alright, three, three minutes too, too much. What I meant to say.
Yeah, it's like, you can much more effectively, like, just go around, punch things, and, like, jump on stuff, like, jump on the heads of enemies as well. It's much more, it's much easier to do that with a melee build than anything else. Although, the, this guy is the most annoying part of the world. For sure. Just hoping I can get some good healing. Which I got a decent amount. Um. Okay, well, let's see how this goes. I mean, yeah, melee against the boss should definitely be pretty interesting. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's what I have to do. Oh, jeez. Okay, he did it again. Okay, he's doing it freaking third time. Oh my gosh. No, I tried to use the ability and it didn't hurt. Didn't. I thought I had some charge on it. And I didn't. Oh my gosh. Holy... Jeez. That was very close. Oh. I do like the melee build though, I must say. Light fire is very close. Oh, that's cool. Explosion. I'm be honest, I need that right now. I don't know what that would do, but... Probably would have been worth it. But I wouldn't have had enough for it anyway, so... It doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. Hey, here we go. Hoping for the best. Which, oftentimes, is not a good thing. You have to hope for the best, and that usually means things are going poorly. Oh, jeez. By poorly, I mean really poorly. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Yep. No health. No health. Dang. I needed some more healing stuff there. 
That was fun though. Going with the those power fists, that might not have been might have, might not have been the best um the best melee weapons to use, but definitely were um, extremely fun. I guess we could try we'll do one more. We'll do one more. Hopefully we get something get a, another good run. Um <laughs> Should I go uh, the frying pan strategy? Sure. Let's go frying pan strategy. I'm gonna wait for the cooldown to be up though. Yeah, let me go this way first. Oh, I can't use the... Okay. Forgot I can't use my ability thing. Uh Okay, increase elemental elemental damage, activating bastion rolls of random element of uh ooh. What's that? I feel like that was fairly quick. Everyone's going to go with that. Okay, still going. <laughs> Jeez. Um, definitely need that. Let me just try to say it. We'll go Oasis again. Okay, yeah, you're gonna be a problem, dude. I hate you so much. The problem is just hitting the far away enemy. Such a difficult thing to do. Like hitting the enemies that like fly in the sky and you know, just that sort of thing. Very difficult to do. Okay, um there's another path or no, there's okay no. I'm just seeing Okay, Bash deals damage of a random element, increases energy, increases explosion damage. Do I, is what I... Okay. Hold on. Is what I have a heavy weapon? I don't think so. Let's go with that. I don't know if they're considered heavy weapons. The the freaking frying pans. I wouldn't think that they would be, but maybe they are. And I just don't know. Um
I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna hold off. We'll grab that. I don't know what the fusion core key is, but I'm gonna buy it. Nice. Come on, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah. Frying fan. Not so good against that guy, but still a bit decent. Happy with it. Happy with the performance. Could have been better, but still good. Missed with that. Okay, that's fine. I, I'm honestly really enjoying the, the the melee weapons. I'm really glad that I decided to go for a melee weapon build. And that uh, Thorn do as Resto, um, he said that they're very fun to use. So I'm also using, um, using that uh, recommendation to also feel this decision, so genuinely shout out to that guy for, for this whole um, thought process, or just the recommendation for this as well. Okay. Uh, increases weapon damage. Oh my gosh, that would be nice. Let's really try to speed it up a little bit. Just this, it's just this guy, so nothing here for me, really. Oh, come on, I missed that? Okay. I need to be going this way. Let's 
swear, jumping on their heads might be more effective than hitting them with my weapons. Ah, oh, 724, you can... Oh, I needed four minutes for that? Oh, wait, no. You need to get three minutes. I just realized. Wow. We'll just go for the extra power cell. Uh... Yeah, so that's saying, like, I need to reduce my time by 4 minutes 24 seconds. Because the last time it said I needed uh, to reduce it by 6 minutes and 19 seconds, and I had 9 minutes and 19 seconds. And so this time, I have 7 minutes and 24 seconds, and it's saying I need to reduce it by 4 minutes. So yeah, I need 3 minutes. I need to be, I need to get to this area in less than 3 minutes. Wow. I mean, I guess it's not probably all. It doesn't. It definitely doesn't seem like impossible, but that feels like something where you're not really like defeating the enemies. You're just kind of running past them, which I assume is technically fine. But if that's a fighting area, then that feels like pretty bad for like, because you're not going to be gaining much experience if you're just running past enemies. So that feels like a not great way of going about it. Like, I feel like that, that feels like a pretty bad thing in the long run, but I mean, I guess I could give it a try sometime, though. Just see how things go. I am already kind of speedrunning it. I mean, this is two minutes faster than my last time, and I don't think I've missed really missed any enemies. Doing pretty well, though. Go for bonus fire rate. I think that just adds it to the weapon. What just happened? Huh? Did I get... Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch that back and figure out what happened. That happened way too... I don't know what just happened to me. Did I get one shot or something? I guess maybe I did. Interesting. Well, let's buy that. I, I guess that's what happened. I guess I got one shot. Um, I was full health. 290 health, that's what I had, and I just got obliterated. I assume I got one shot, or I don't know what happened. You guys are gonna have to, I'm gonna, like I said, I'll have to go, I'll have to watch back. Um, but please comment what actually happened, because even if I watch back the footage, I might not understand fully. So if anyone knows what happened, um, I'd really appreciate, you know, just leaving it in the comments, just letting me know, like, what actually happened there right at the end. I assume I just got one shot, like, he just kind of, like, exploded or something and one shot me, or, I don't, I don't know. Um, I also thought I had my Bastion shield up, but I guess maybe I didn't, or maybe it ran out or something, I don't know. Um... That was, I was not expecting that to happen, um, but anyways, 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of RoboQuest. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It mean the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.